Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this vi. Stefan catches Gabby with EJ. As Gabby reconsiders her revenge plan, Stefan finds her in EJ's bedroom. Today on Days of Our Lives, Abigail gives Stefan advice, Gabby gets cold feet, Chat confides in Stephanie, and Johnny may come to regret his decision. Please note that if you purchase something by clicking on a link within this story, we may receive a small commission of the sale. At Abby's place, he tells Kate about the backstage drama involving their two potential body and soul leads, namely that Alex and Chanel had a threesome with Ali. Aid worries it'll be a bit awkward for Johnny, but notes they have great chemistry. He and Kate decide to go watch their audition. At Body and Soul, Chanel grows incensed upon learning Aid failed to tell her Alex could be her leading man. Working together is not going to fly. Watching them bicker, Johnny concludes that Aid is right about Chanel and Alex's chemistry. In the Dimira mansion, Abigail gets into character before answering her phone to Chad. She assures him she had a peaceful evening last night and dodges his invitation to have breakfast together. Stefan enters the living room as she hangs up. He's aware that Gabby filled her in on their history. He explains Gabby only did that because they've hit a rough patch. So it's her fault you're a creep? Abigail deadpans. Stephanie comes to the Horton house to ask about visiting Abigail. Chad thinks it's a good idea for Abby to see familiar faces, so to speak. He calls it a miracle to have Abigail back, but he knows it must be complicated for Stephanie. She understands that he couldn't commit to their relationship because part of him sensed Abigail was still alive. He admits Abigail seems like a different person. If it weren't for the DNA test, he doesn't know if he'd believe it was really her. Gabby wakes up from a romantic dream about Stefan. Her smile fades when she rolls over to see E.G. sleeping next to her. She puts on a robe as E.G. wakes up. He quips that before he opened his eyes, he thought what happened between them was just a dream. He looks under the covers. Guess not, he says with a smarmy chuckle. Gabby reaffirms that she only slept with him to get back at Stefan. E.G. allows that the hate sex was great, but it didn't purge Nicole from his heart. The thought of Nicole and Eric living happily in Paris is a kick in the gut. She suggests he take that hate out on Stefan. Smirking, he strides to the door, ready to tell his brother they slept together. Gaby stops him. Chriselle Stas threatens to quit selling Sunset. In the living room, Stefan admits to Abigail that he was a creep, but he didn't fully understand did then. He made selfish choices that he will regret for the rest of his life. She senses he's genuinely contrite and forgives him. Now, if only Gabby could do the same thing, he says. Upon learning that Stefan cheated on Gabby while she was in prison, Abigail understands why Gabby's so mad at him. He explains fighting and making up is kind of their thing, but this time she wants a divorce. Abigail advises him not to give up. At body and soul, Johnny convinces Chanel and Alex that their animosity is what makes their chemistry come alive. As long as they are comfortable with it, he is okay with Alex playing his wife's love interest. When Abe and Kate show up, Alex and Chanel perform their character's melodramatic reunion scene. Chanel stops at the kiss. Kate tells her they just saw the hate, now they need to see the love. Johnny encourages them to continue, but uncomfortably shifts as Alex and Chanel deeply kiss. In the Horton house, Chad knows he should be grateful he got his wife back and that he should respect her space. Stephanie assures him it's natural that he wants to be with her. Abigail is lucky to have him, no matter how needy and uncool he may feel. She'll realize it soon. Chad encourages Stephanie to visit and share the good memories they had. He hopes Abigail, remembering Clyde attacking her, is the start of remembering more. Stephanie assures him she's there for them both. At the Dimira mansion, Abigail suggests to Stefan that Gaby is focusing on her anger because she still loves him. If they always work it out, why would this time be any different? Stefan thanks her for the pep talk and plans to go beg for forgiveness. Abigail notes Gabby's not in her room. Stefan wonders where she could be. In E.G.'s bedroom, E.G. wonders why Gabby doesn't want Stefan to know. Wasn't that the whole point of them sleeping together? Gabby just wants to make sure this bombshell has maximum impact. 
E. Jean uses she changed her mind because she's still in love with Stefan. Gaby insists her love for Stefan is dead. Calling her bluff, E. G. turns to leave the room, but she stops him again. After some taunting, E. G. admits if he had the chance to win back Nickel, he wouldn't pass it up. So if Gabby changed her mind, no one ever has to know about their secret dalliance. At the audition, Johnny abruptly calls cut on Chanel and Alex's kiss. Kate calls them a super couple, and Abe hires them. Kate whispers to Abe that Alex and Chanel will have a lot of fans. Abe isn't sure Chanel's husband will be one of them. Johnny grimaces as Chanel and Alex talk. Later, Alex signs a contract and thanks Abe for believing in him. He just hopes he and Chanel can put their differences aside and work together. In the square, Johnny asks an excited Chanel if she'll be okay working with Alex. She knows it's part of the job, the best part of which is that she gets to work with her brilliant director husband. They kiss. Kate runs into Chad outside the pub. She knows he must be over the moon about Abigail. However, when she first heard the news, she thought Clyde was lying. At the mansion, Abigail tells Mark over the phone that she convinced Chad to move back with the kids. Now that she can finally breathe, they can figure out the next step of their plan. An arriving Stephanie overhears. Upstairs, Gabby doesn't understand why she's suddenly having cold feet. E.G. urges her to think it through because once the cat's out of the bag, there's no going back. She wonders why he's being so nice. He understands what she's feeling. Stefan bursts into the room, asking E.G. if he's seen Gabby. His face scrunches in confusion as his gaze rests on her. Next on Days of Our Lives, Gabby is forced to confess, and Leo makes some changes.